اے معبو آج کے دن میں وہ چیز مانگتا ہوں جو تجھے پسند ہے اور اس چیز سے تیری پناہ لیتا ہوں جو تجھے نہ پسند ہے اور اس میں تجھ سے توفیق مانگتا ہوں تاکہ میں فرما برداری کروں اور تیری نافرمانی نہ کروں اے سائلوں کو بہت عطا کرنے والے اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ علی سیدنا محمد و آلہ التاہرین ولانت الدعم علی آدائہم اجمعین من الان الى قیام یوم الدین اما بعد فی دعا آف دی ٹوینٹی فورت of the month of Ramadan. Allahumma inni as'aluka fi ma yuradhika wa a'udhu bika mimma yu'adhika. So we ask on the 24th of the month of Ramadan, O Allah, make me attend or I ask you on this day that you, for what pleases you, Basically, I ask you for what pleases you. Whatever pleases you, you provide me that. Right? And then I ask or I seek refuge in you from what displeases you. وَعَوْدُ مِمَّا يُعْذِيكَ You know, and وَأَسْأَلُكَ التَّوْفِيقَ And we also ask for tawfiq. في in this day لأن أُطَعَكَ uh, so that I do your ita'at. Uti'yaka. Uti'yaka. So that I do your ita'at. Wala a'asika. And I don't do your masiyat. Ya jawad as The one who is jawad to the givers. Jawad is from jud. A person basically who is generous is jawad, right? A generous person. So ya jawad. The generous one of the sa'ileen. Sa'il is the one who asks, who seeks. So Allahumma inni asaluka fi. On this day we ask that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let me do those things or let me basically ask you for what pleases you. Whatever pleases you, you know, I ask for that. For example, when we look at the Quran, we look at laqad radi Allah anal mu'mineen. Allah is pleased with the mu'mineen, the one who give baya below the shajara. This is in regards to the Prophet. Or for example, we read that وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْسَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اِتَّبَعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ أَنْهُمْ وَرَدْوًا They are pleased with God and God is pleased with them. And the reason وَالَّذِينَ اِتَّبَعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ uh, because that they are the one who are the muhajireen, the ansar, and those who are do, do good. You know, those who do good, those who f do good. And those who do good swiftly take step towards that. Basically go behind the good as well. Do the tabi'at of good. Those people who are, they are th that people, those who are رضي الله عنهم وردوان God is pleased with them and they are pleased with God or رضي الله عنهم وردوا عن أولئك حزب الله ألا إن حزب الله هم المفلحون This is from Surah number مجادلة verse number twenty two and it says رضي الله عنهم God is pleased with them وردوا عنه and they are pleased Who are these people? These are Ula'ika Hezbollah. These are is the party of God. Allah inna. And certainly the Hezbollah, the party of God, is victorious. This is in the verse of the Quran. 
So the pleasure, so we are seeking the pleasure of God. Now, what brings about that rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Doing a lot of astaghfar and giving sadaqah and also being humble. Thalathun yablughna bil abd ridwan Allah. There are three things will bring about ridwan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, kathiratul astaghfar. Number two, khafdud janib. Meaning one is humble, the janib, the taraf, the other person is in, secure in front of him in a way. Wa kathratu sadaqah and kathrat in sadaqah. So if a person do these three things, what will happen? It will be provided with ridwan Allah. These are the things that will be. Inna Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala akhfi rida fi ta'atihi. The rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hidden in the itaat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person is itaat, God says, do this, a person does that, there is pleasure of God in it. Taqwa, taqwa will bring about ridwan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Awsa'akum bi taqwa wa ja'ala muntaha rida wa hajatahu min al khalqih. Amirul Mu'mineen says that, Awsakum, I advise you for taqwa, wa ja'alaha muntaha rida, because this is the muntaha of rida. This is the ultimate level of pleasure of God, is taqwa. And his hajat from khalqih, from the creation. Now, what are the signs that a person have rida? Number one is tawfiq and ita'at from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Rabb, akhbirni an aya ridaka an abd fa'awha Allah ta'ala ilay. A person basically perhaps seeks, this is a hadith of Qudsi, Rasulullah seeking hadith of Qudsi. He says, Ya Rabb, oh Allah, akhbirni, give me the information, akhbar, news of rida from the abd fa'awha Allah and Allah does wahi to him. Ida ra'aytani when you see an abd who is obeying and he is being far away from masiyat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, know that God is pleased with him. See, there are certain things, alhamdulillah, automatically we are away from. Drinking, going to the pub, oh no. Automatically, it's natural, right? It's God is Razi with us, right? For example, prayer, as the Azan happens, prayer happens, fasting, we would like to pray. Yes, this is a sign that God is pleased with us. So we have to see ourselves to really know that when God is pleased with us, when we are doing good acts, when we are protecting ourselves from sins. This means God is Razi, Alhamdulillah. Then the other hadith. Salasa, uh, it says, فَمَنْ عَمَلَ بِالْرِدَىٰ أُلْزِمَهُ ثَلَاثَ خِسَالٍ A person who uh, will act upon the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, three qualities will be given to him. So he will have these three qualities. These are the signs of pleasure of God in a person, right? These are the three qualities. Number one, أُعَرِّفُ شُكْرًا لَا يُخَالِتُهُ he will be given the opportunity of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be shakir all the time. He will be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what happens, he will be thanking God. You know, he will be pleased with God. Rather than shukr. Allahumma lakal hamdu hamdu shakirina lak ala musabihim. Ziyarat Ashura we recite. We go in sajda ala musabihim. Alhamdulillah. You know, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like alhamdu hamd al-shakirin, a hamd of shakirin, upon the musibat, right? He's shakir, number one. So if I am a person who is doing shukur, that means there is a riza of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, la yukhalituhu al-jahal, and jahal will not be mixed with the shukr. It's a pure shukr. Wa dhikran la yukhalituhu al-nisyan. It will be given the opportunity to do the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without forget for negligence, 
without forgetfulness. He will be doing the zikr of Allah and not forgetting. Sometimes we start doing the zikr of Allah, we forget. Which was I reciting? Forget. Tawaf, oh is it third or fourth? We forget. Namaz, third rakat, fourth rakat, oh we forget. If there is reza of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon me, these things will not happen, right? And then, وَمُحَبَّةً لَا يُؤْثِرُ عَلَى مَحَبَّةِ مُحَبَّةَ الْمَقْلُوقِينَ He will be given a type of muhabbat, a type of love that no other love of makhluqeen will overpower the love of God. He will always love God. Yes, he will love his children, but his love for children is because of God. Imam Hussein loved his children. Imam Hussein loved Ali Asghar. But the love of God, ashaddu hubban lillah, was shadeed. That even he sacrificed the, his own life and also children's life. And the children the same way as well. Ali Akbar the same way. Zainul Abidin the same way. Yes, they love their father, but they love Allah more. So they sacrifice themselves for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is an alamat e rida. This is a sign that Allah is radhi. He has rida. In him, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other thing is Adil, Alamutur Rida Allah an Khalke Ruks Ruksu As Arihim wa Adlu Sultanihim. You know, is the one who a person is who performs adalat and who would basically establish justice. Allah is razi with him. If I'm establishing justice with my children, with my work, with myself, with others, with my neighbor, right, with my workers who are working under me, I'm just. Adil. This is the alamate rida. وَمَا تَوْفِيقَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ تَبَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْهِ الْأُنِيبِ Tawfiq is an indication of pleasure of God. If I have tawfiq to do something good, an opportunity, this is an indication God is pleased with me. You know, right? So we ask on this day, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mojibat e rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask. We ask to be far away from those things which bring about wrath of God. You know, hate of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Something that Allah does not like, dislike. And also we ask for tawfiq of Ita'at of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? In order that, uh, and also not to perform masiyat. Wala usika. And oh Allah, on this day, I don't perform masiyat. What was it? Khutbe Shabaniya of the Prophet. Prophet mentioned about Shaban. And in the end, Amirul Mumineen stood up and he, what did he say? He said, What is the best act, Ya Rasulullah, in this month? Rasulullah said, Tark, not committing haram, right? To be far away from maharim Allah, to be far away from haram things. The month is almost over. We have to look ourselves that how much I have protected my eyes, my body parts. Ayatullah Tahriri, remember in the beginning, we mentioned in the beginning of the month of Ramadan, he has advised, the advices of the month of Ramadan is to focus upon the body parts by which a person have committed sins and to seek forgiveness. With these eyes, how many sins I have committed. With these ears, with this tongue, how many ghibat, how many tohmat, how many sort of, uh, you know, backbiting and, and, uh, and speaking things about that person and that person being judgmental. How many things are, with these fingers, how many people have being judgmental and pointed out to people with his feet, with his hands, with his heart, focusing upon these body parts and seeking forgiveness from these part, body parts as well. On the 24th day of the month of Ramadan, the reward according to Rasulullah, you will not leave this life before each one of you sees the place reserved for him or her in Jannah, in paradise and is given the rewards of a thousand sick and a thousand who go back to their creed and will grant you the rewards of one who freed a thousand captives from the descendant of Prophet Ismail. 
the reward of just one fast. This is because of the Rahmatul Lil Alameen. Because Rasulullah is Rahmatul Lil Alameen and he brought fast for us. And it becomes so merciful and so rewarding for us. Just by one fasting, we get this reward. This is the Sadaqah of Rasul Khuda, of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is because of his blessing of our Habib and the Habib of Rabbal Alameen. Ghafar Allahu Lana wa Lakum. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgive our Marhumeen. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgive you all. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept your ibadat, your du'as and your fasting, inshaAllah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala haste the reappearance of our 12th Imam. Include us as the faithful companions of the 12th Imam. May the 12th Imam be pleased with us and pray for us inshallah. Thank you very much and we'll see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.